Brendan Keefe shows you how the richest county in Georgia is now facing its racist past. It is hidden in a narrow patch of forest between rows of half million dollar homes. Even looking straight down, nothing betrays the mystery of what lies beneath. These tombstones are all that's left of the old Black Baptist Church at Stony Point. Look closely at the dates. Why do they all end before 1912? This is not evidence of promises broken, but of loved ones kept away because the men, women, and children buried here were the only black residents of Forsyth County, Georgia for nearly all of the 20th century. All of the Negro people had to leave. There was knocking on the door and they were told to get out. Elon Osby heard the story directly from her own mother, Willie Mae Bagley, just a two-year-old back in 1912 when the Knight Riders came to their home and so many others in Forsyth County. Can you imagine the fear that they would have felt? William and Ida Bagley paid taxes on 60 acres they owned in 1912. We could find no record of any sale in the county courthouse except those of white men later selling parcels of the Bagley's land to one another. The 1910 census showed the Bagley's among 1,098 black residents of the county, a tenth of the total population. By 1920, nearly every last one of them was gone. There are these long stretches where decade after decade, the black population of Forsyth County is zero. Historical photos show only white faces after 1912. So what happened that year? Thousands turned out to celebrate the public hanging of two black teenagers convicted in a single day by an all-white jury of raping and murdering a white girl named May Crow. The other black suspect had already been lynched right here on the coming courthouse square. The lynching of Rob Edwards involved a very large crowd gathering outside the jail, dragging him out of the jail, beating him with crowbars, dragging his body around town behind a wagon, and then eventually his, his corpse is hoisted to, uh, you know, on a telegraph pole and everyone in the crowd takes turns shooting into his body. Just across from the spot where Rob Edwards was lynched, Lady Justice faces history wearing her blindfold. But soil from the square has been collected in a jar, and the name Rob Edwards will soon join the lynching memorial at the Equal Justice Initiative. The Community Remembrance Project of Forsyth County really got this rolling and worked with the Equal Justice Initiative. So they're going to put up a marker that will memorialize Rob Edwards and tell the story of, of that lynching. And that's gonna be on the spot where he was lynched, which is, which is you know, something I never thought I would live to see. This with the marker is a first step. There are already several hidden markers to the black community that once thrived here, now surrounded by new neighborhoods that are increasingly diverse. Some of those new residents are buying homes here on the land Elon's grandparents once owned. The old Bagley Place is now among the most valuable real estate in Metro Atlanta.